if you want me to slow down, just go. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still haven't, I want to just go off, you know what I mean? I have to rein myself in. So um, if, if I'm gone too far, just, just go like that, you know, and I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> Can we okay. pray before we start? I just I feel this That's is good. quite a, 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 a heavy subject, not heavy, but deep and an important subject. I mean, I don't, you know, I, I'll probably say that about everything I ever say, but I think this really is um, a really important and for this time that we live in. So, Father, I just pray for tonight, Lord, that you will speak to us through your word. And that we will hear your voice, not my voice, but we will hear your voice through the scriptures, through your word. Yes, Lord. Um, and, and that we will hear what you would say to us tonight. Open our ears, Father. May we just hear things maybe from a fresh perspective and, and, and remember things maybe that we knew, but we'd forgotten. But however, Lord, I just pray that this would be uh, not just just a, another message, but a, a message that is a marker uh, for the way ahead in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I was um, I was gri gripped by um, looking at Ephesians. Um, I, I was gripped by looking at Ephesians, um, Philippians, so Philippians 2 verse 3, and then I read the whole passage of Philippians, and I've been trawling through the book of Philippians. And I discovered some things as I was looking in this that I think, you know, really stuck out to me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just start by reading Philippians um, chapter 2. Some of Philippians chapter two. So we're in Philippians chapter two. So Philippians chapter two. Have I got the whole bit of there? Just grab a Bible, I think. Grab a Bible somewhere, I think. All right, here we go. So Philippians 2 is that famous passage. You probably all know the passage. It's one of the most, I think, one of the most famous, most amazing passages. It's the passage about Jesus becoming a man, taking on the form of a servant. That's the passage, if any of you need a marker to know which passage we're talking about that's that's the passage we're um, going to be looking at tonight philippians 2 verse 3 by saying, therefore, if there is any, any encouragement in Christ, any consolation of love, if there is any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and compassion make my joy complete by being of the same mind, maintaining the same love, united in spirit, intent on one purpose. <laughs> अभिप्राय कर and then he says in verse three, and this was the verse that I really started off looking at. He says, do nothing from selfishness or in empty conceit. Um, uh, 
but with humility of mind, regard one another as more important than yourselves. Ekinika Tamatamata Vada Vinikinik Utum Kutta Yatahat Kamesitava. Now we read the passage and sometimes we just read it without really thinking about what it's saying. Because it's say sorry. Samahar Velavata Api Pariche the Kiona de Vashineki Mukakta Gatia Nikila Terum Nogena. So I want you to think seriously about this. And, and I was thinking of asking people to say which side of the fence they were sitting on. But I think I'll just let you do that in your heart to say, well, do you consider other people more important than yourself? Because that's what this verse is saying we should do. I mean, that's quite a big ask, isn't it? Most most of us, if we we're honest, we, we think we're important and we, 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 we other people have their place, but we're important, you know, we're we're the number one. Namud Bohum Velavata Gaddi um Tama Tama Hitani Tama Tama Itama Vadaga Tutum Kena Kela and Naiva Sulukata Siti Matama Pisama Nin Sidukarani. And I thought if I ask this question, if you put up your hand saying you think other people are more important, you, you, you may be feeling that you're being proud. And if you don't put up your hand saying you think other people are more important, you're not obeying Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so this could be like one of those questions that Jesus asked the religious leaders. It, it is a tricky question if you had to actually be, answer it. Um tricky, it's a tricky past to some difficult. And he says, he goes on to say, do not look out merely for your own personal interests, but for the interests of others. Now, the question I was... I asked myself was, how do we get from that first half of the question to the second one? How do we get from doing nothing out, that we should do nothing out of self-promotion or selfish ambition to the point where we're esteeming others more highly than ourselves? Uh, and I believe that the, the, the explanation is in the next part of the chapter where he brings and he begins to talk about the way of the cross. You see, in the Christian world, it's not like the rest of the world, the Christian world, the way up is down. In fact, somebody once said, and I like this expression, they said the door is in the floor. In 2 Chronicles 7.14, Chronicles uh, It says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their 
land. Ethera tina mage naame darne mage senega mage mohne soya thamunge na puru marge heroti. ඒ ඒ කන්නලාව උන්වහන්සේ අසල දේශය උන්වහන්සේ සුව කරනවා කියලා. So the first step to revival is a downward one. එතකොට මේ මේ පිබිදීමේ මාර්ගය තමයි පල්ල හැට යන එක. If we humble ourselves. අපි යටත්කම පැළඳ ගත්තොතින්. Now I'm, I'm going to give an example of somebody who descended from a great height to a low height. Mama Yamik obata genala gena harapanna ihalata magihilla palla hata magiya kenek. Just as a bit of fun and a, a, a comparison. Make me find a comparison kenek. Is it a is it a book or is it a book or is it like a comparison? itself just a comparison just a yeah san san the nekiri mark example in on the 14th of october 2012 uh october um the hatter the das dolahe 2012 yeah. Uh, yeah a man called baumgarter the german or swedish or something flew approximately 24 miles into the stratosphere so he went up 24 miles ek das e das dolah me october 14 wenda yam kenek me blue gat na kena kena kilometer 39ak e kiyanne miles 24ak pamana ihalata giya na he wasn't in a he wasn't in a spaceship always a me me guan yanawak nevey eka giye abyakasha yanawak nevey he was in a balloon oh balumaka tama ese giye and he went 24 miles up uh, everest i think is 2 miles gives you some idea how far up he went nikan hitanne me me satakma dekak nevey giye satakma 24ak me mak misada me helium balloon eka tama giye no only did he go 24 miles up he then jumped out ida passe e satakma 24ara udara gihila ekken eliyata panna and he came down from 24 miles he had to have a special suit with oxygen and and everything to do this but he jumped out at 24 miles high oh who me sat me polawa mattame satakma 24 ak pamana usu sthaneyakin e oxygen sielu de dala oh panna e sthane polawata and it took him 10 minutes to reach the ground polawata avathirna wenta oru minithu 10 ak pamana kaalayak giya Uh, the internet's going. Are you? Uh, are you good. getting a, a shake? Are you all right? Yeah, we are good. Yeah, we're getting a shake of signal. You're not doing so on the internet, are you? I know. Huh? Can't hear me. <laughs> so, yeah. So, 24 miles. He went. He came down, and he he reached. A, he broke the sound barrier. Yeah, I think Vianga's frozen. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to stick this on. Are we good or? I think we are just gone. Um, aking hune ya me vete na kota e um sound barrier. Uh, e shabd sima wing oh uh eka khada ge na tamad me polon na uta ave. You on mute, Richard? I'm trying to I'm trying to connect it to the um 
hotspot, but I can't find it. You're good, Richard. We can hear you. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's uh, I thought the Wi-Fi had been improved, but obviously it hasn't. So yeah, he jumped out, and he, he it took him ten minutes to get to the ground, and he broke the sound barrier. Now, ten minutes sounds quite sure, but let me give you a. Somehow, I'm I'm a minute to die here. I'm probably not going to get any good. Get the car to see my car in the pool. I jumped out of an aeroplane at two thousand feet. Mama, that was okay. Me, Guanyan, again. Um, I did the dark of the hillin. Mama, Elia, the pen. And I had eight seconds before, if my parachute didn't open, I'd hit the ground. We might have tapper attack the bar. A tapper at the monkey parachute again in that tongue. So you can see how far up he was that it took him 10 minutes to get to the ground and he broke the sound barrier coming down. Why am I going on about this? Well, I just thought it would be fun, again. but I want to compare what Jesus. I want to compare what Jesus did, mm -hmm. and Jesus descended from heaven, from being God. He was God, mm -hmm. to becoming a man, which is a bigger distance than jumping out of a plane. It's a bigger distance than. Anything else that we can really put into perspective? Jesus Jesus was being from being the ruler of heaven and earth to being a servant of men on the earth. Now, if you study Jesus for any amount of time, you will realize that Jesus is um, doing things to be our example. He's our example. It's as if he said, this is the way to do it, and I'm going to show you how to do it by doing it first. So Jesus gave us an example of humbling himself and, and for us to follow. But like I only jumped out at 2,000 feet, Jesus jumped out at <laughs> who knows how much. He, he, he jumped from a far greater height than anything. But he said, let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. He said, have this attitude in yourselves. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Who, although he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped. But emptied himself. Taking the form of a bond servant. 
and being made in the likeness of men. ඒ මිනිස්යන්ගේ ස්වරූපයට මාව එක් ඉවත් කර සේවකයෙකුගේ දාසෙකුගේ ස්වරූපය ගත්ත. Being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself. ඒ මිනිස්යාකාරයෙන් සිටිය කල තුන්වහන්සේ යටහත් වුණා. By becoming obedient to the point of death. ඒ මරණය විඳින්ට පවා උන්වහන්සේ යටහත් වුණා. Even death on a cross. For this reason, God hath highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow of those who are in the earth, heaven and on earth and under earth, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. එබැවින් දෙවියන් වහන්සේ උන්වහන්සේව ඉතා උසස් කොට සියලු නාම වලට වඩා උසස්ම නාමයේ උන්වහන්සේට දුන්සේ කෙසේ කළේ ස්වර්ගයේද පොළවේද පොළව යටද සියල්ලන් යේසුස් වහන්සේගේ නාමෙන් දන නමන පිණිසත් යේසුස් ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ ස්වාමින් වහන්සේ බව පියවු දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ ගෞරවය සඳහා සියලු දිව් වලින් ඒතු ගන්න පිණිසත්ය so we're called to be imitators of christ apava apava penla tiyena unwahanseva me niyojaneya karana unwahanseva pennana ekotasa lesa and um paul said be imitators of me as i am of christ e paul thuma kiyena mama kese christus wahanseva anukaraneya karayida e aakarayat down අඩි හත් පියවර හතකින් උන්වහන්සේ පහළට ආවා. Step 1 පළවෙනි පියවර Letting go of position. උන්වහන්සේට තිබුණ අනතුර තත්ත්වය අතැරියා. He said he didn't consider equality with God something to be grasped. ඒ දෙවියන් වහන්සේට සමාව සමානව සිටීම අල්ලාගත යුතුවම තිබිය යුතු දෙයක් කියලා උන්වහන්සේ සිතුවේ නැහැ. So he he didn't hang on to his position. ඒ නිසා ඒ උන්වහන්සේගේ තත්ත්වය මත තනතුර මත උන්වහන්සේ අල්ලගෙන සිටියේ නැහැ. We must understand that no earthly position is 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 of importance when it comes to God. We are our position with god is the important one not any earthly position that we might have apare polave labena thanaturu kissima ageyak watinakamak ne watinakama atte api unwahanse idiriya daranna u thanaturu tulai in in the um, prayer meeting this week scotty gave an example of the centurion and how the centurion he was a powerful man in the roman empire but he didn't consider that position it was a hindrance for him going to jesus and asking for help it api shatadhipatiya desa waladde ohuta me ohu siyakata muladaniyeku hitiya ithin ohuge tatwaya tanatura e etibena e mattama ohu hituwena jesus wahanse langata ende eka baadawak karagatte ne we see the wise men they came to jesus and they bowed before jesus a baby අපි දකිනවා ඒ ශාස්ත්‍රවන්තයන් තුන් දෙනා කෙසේද ජේසස් වහන්සේ ලද්දරුවෙක් ලෙස ඉන්නා වූ ජේසස් වහන්සේව බැහැදාගෙන තාව කියලා. So that's the first one letting go of position. ඒ නොහන්සේගේ ඒ තනතුර තත්වේ උන්වහන්සේ අතැරියා. The second one was he made himself of no reputation. කිසිම reputation කිසිම අර මේ ඒ වගකීමෙන් යුතු වැදැක් තත්ත්වයක් නෙවෙයි මේ වැදැක් ගම්මකට නැති තත්ත්වයකට උන්වහන්සේ පත් වුණා. He came as a child. දිලින්දෙක් ලෙස තමයි ආවේ. He didn't come as a king, he came as a a poor lowly 
person born to a poor family. And he he didn't depend on an earthly reputation. He didn't go out promoting himself with banners and flyers and YouTube channels. YouTube channels He didn't advertise his meetings or sell tickets for them. Uh, uh, he was concerned about doing the job he was called to, not about his reputation. The Apostle Paul said, if I was still serving pleasing men, I would not be the servant of God. At some point, we have to choose between doing what God wants and our reputation. So the third point, he took on the form of a servant. Uh, which is incredible, isn't it? He came to serve. It says the Son of Man has come to serve. I think Harima Manaharai Makisadu Nohansi Manu Karagan Savia Karanata Vidasi Gesurupin. He wasn't looking for people to serve him. He was come to serve people. Unuhansi Savine, Unuhansi to Savia Karanda Manusio, Namutu Nuhansi Ave, Manusia and Savia Karanda. And then he was found in the likeness of a man. A human being. See, Jesus chose to be human. Jesus was a Toragata Manukaya Ganata. Because being human is good. It says that we are made in the image of God. Sometimes Christians are so intent on being divine that they forget to be human. There's another word, there's, we can be human, or what we see going on in a lot of the world today is people being inhumane. Because when Jesus became a man, he became a man as men should be. With a tender heart, with, with, with compassion. He showed us what a real human being looks like. And then it goes on to say he humbled himself. Well, you, you would think we'd already grasped the fact he humbled himself, but it mentions it again. Because 
because humbling ourselves is not just a one-time thing. It's something we have to continually do. මොකද යටත් කම කියන්නේ එක වතාවක ක්‍රියාවක් නොවෙයි මේක නොකඩවම සිදු වෙන ක්‍රියාවලියක්. And then he became obedient. ඊට පස්සේ කී කරුභාවයට උන්වහන්සේ පත් වුණා. And he embraced death finally. The last step of these seven steps is embracing death. ඊට පස්සේ මරණය දක්වා උන්වහන්සේ කී කරුණා. Because it says in you know it says in the scripture if we're conformed to his death we will be conformed to his resurrection. Ah, uh, the question That's Romans six verse five. Ah, Roma hai veni pariche de pas veni padeya. Because with no death, there is no resurrection. Maraniak no metiva, never the nekiti makne. So, why did Paul place this passage at the beginning of the letter of Philippians? If we read in chapter 3 verse 17 we we may get a clue as to why he had placed this passage about Jesus humbling himself taking on the form of a servant and becoming obedient to the cross when we read Philippians chapter 3 verse 17 It says, "Brethren, join in my example and observe those who walk according to the pattern you have in us." For many of whom I have told you, often told you, and now tell you, even weeping, that they are enemies of the cross of Christ. දැනුත් නුබලාට ආදර්ශයක් සිටින් සිටින්නේ යම් සේද එසේ සිටින්නන්ගෙන් බලා අනිල්ලා මක් නිසාද මා නුබලාට බොහෝ වර කී ලෙසත් දැනුත් අඬමින් කියන ලෙසත් බොහෝ දිනේ ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේගේ කුරුසියට සතුරෝව සිටිති whose end is destruction whose god is their appetite and whose glory is in their shame who set their minds on earthly things onge kelavara vinashaya onge devyo bade ovunge paratuwa nam thamunge lajjava gane ovun salakanne loke devalya namut ape nagarikatwe swargehiya for our citizenship is in heaven apage nagarikatwe swarge from which we also eagerly wait for a savior the lord jesus christ etanin galum kharekwana swami bu jesus wahanse enawa api bala sitimo he will transform the body of our humble state into conformity with the body of his glory e unwahanse apage pahat kame sharira taman wahanse ge tejase sharireta samana wana pinisa by the exertion of the power that he has to subject all things to himself it was a tenatina ese ese sielu de phava yatat karanta puluwan bu bale lese unwahanse ese kala kiyala now i had an interesting experience this week mata me satiye yam adaki mak labuna i went i went into a, a christian chat room mama me kituno ange chat room ekata giya me antarjale ara and at the very moment that i entered the chat room the person speaking was sharing about philippians chapter 2 mang eka vivrutha karaddima yamek philippi devani pariche de gena upanwame sitiya 
Uh, and I thought, wow, this is this is interesting. He's talking on the very passage that I'm looking at. Mama Balene Pariche de Matamo again. So I thought I'd test my message out. <laughs> now this is a Christian chat room. These are all Christian. As far as I know, they're all Christians in this chat room. So I started to talk about how we're to follow Christ and have the mind of Christ and how we're to humble ourselves and etc. etc. And most of the Christians in the room began to turn on me. And, and they didn't like what I was saying. Started accusing me of not teaching justification by faith, by teaching salvation by works. Which, which of course, that's not what I'm doing at all. Finally, this this lady came, this lady took the microphone and she gave a very good explanation and put the room straight about what I was saying. But it made me think. Is it possible that as Christians we have moved away from the cross? That it's almost an alien message? That we've become removed from that message of the cross? You see, it's possible, according to Philippines, it's possible to be a Christian and be an enemy of the cross. Yeah. You see, people, they see the cross as Jesus died on there to forgive us our sin. They don't understand that we have to participate by identifying with that. There, there is a place where we become conformed to that message. Uh, Paul said he had crucified, you know, he spoke to people, he said, you have crucified the old man, you put to death the old man. And he said, I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And he'd allowed himself to go to a place of death so that Christ could live through him. Uh, so I think this this is a very important passage that we 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 begin to take maybe take stock. I've had, I'm taking serious stock of my life and begin to say, it, it, do we have to embark on this journey of Philippians two? And you know, one of the things it says at the beginning, it talked about Philippians 2. This is from the passage translation. It says, Don't allow self promotion to hide in your heart, but in authentic humility. A um, a devachinekino, Sabavu, Avang, 
ඉක්කවු යටහත්කම පැලද ගන්නට කියලා නිකන් පැලද ගැනීමක් නෙවෙයි නිකන් ඒ බොරුවු යටහත්කම You see there are things that can hide in our hearts you know we සමහරවිට අපේ හදවත එක එක දේවල් සැඟවිලා තියෙන්න පුළුවන් and we have to be honest with ourselves api itamat avanka wenduna apas samaga why are we doing things why do we do things ai me dewal ap karanne kiyala is it to make a name for ourselves or is it because we want to promote jesus apata namayak saada ganta dese nattam christus wahanseva prasiddhiyata pat karanta da and it says in this passage in from the passage it says passion bible says but in authentic humility ye avankavu adahilla gena e e anuwade thula kiyena because there can be a, there's a thing called false humility makisa de vyajavu yatat kam kutiyena where we give all the appearance of being humble e makisa da ba pennana silo aakare ni yatat kiyala but it's actually pride disguised as humility නමුත් ඒකේ ආකාරයෙන් සිදු වෙන්නේ නැහැ. Think of the 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 Pharisee in the temple he said I thank you I'm not like other men I fast twice a week I tithe I do all this. ඒ පරිසිවරයාගේ ආඥාව ඔබට මතකයි මම මේතර ඉන්න අය වගේ නෙමෙයි මම දේවතාවක් සතියට නිරාහාරයෙන් ඉන්නවා මේක ගොඩනගනවා අර දේ කරනවා කියලා ඒ පුරාජේරු කියනවා. but he wasn't really humble sabavin mu yatat kenek nove he was full of pride and the man who was humble was the one who just said lord have mercy on me a sinner e athatu manushya tamai e paapishta kena ahu kiyena mama mitena sudusu ne swamini man paukare kiyala because he recognized his true condition a sabavin mu ge tatwe ohu avanka terun gatta You see as Christians in this culture and in this age we are to go against the tide. Api me kitunu lesa apata me viruddha wenna rara paharata viruddha va api yanta one. Paul said do not be conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Paul to makena nubala me lokaya akareta samana novi නුඹලාගේ සිතේ ඇතුලාන්ත මිනිස්යාගෙන් අන්‍යාකාර සිත් ඇතුව වෙන්න කියලා. And I wonder how much the church has been conformed to this world. I'm not just talking about our church, I'm talking in general how much the church has allowed itself to be conformed to the world rather than being transformed and taking the pattern that Jesus gave us in Philippians chapter 2. ඒ පිළිපි දෙකේ ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ කියවා වූ ඒ සභාවක් ලෙස ඒ ලෝකයට සමාන වීම අපි කොච්චර තෝරගන්නවද ඒ චිත්තාත්මින් අලුත් කරන පිණිස උන්වහන්සේගේ ස්වරූපයට පරිවර්තනය වීමෙන් තොරව because the way of jesus is the way of following him and that involves it says pick up your cross and follow me ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ කියන Tamange කුරුස්සිය රැගෙන ඔසවගෙන මානු වෙන්න කියලා උන්වහන්සේගේ මාර්ගය නම් උන්වහන්සේගේ අනුයාමයි. We've got about 9 minutes left. So I'm going to leave it there. Um I I just want you to take on board what and look at this passage and and pray about it and think about it and um it, it would be nice I think if we as a body of people decided to go on this journey e atrama sabha shaririyak lesa api me aakareyata me gamana yanta sudanam vima e gamana tula me piya tabima ithamath vedagat ekinda me parichchede oba kaale aragana kiyawanta you may be a lot further down the journey than i am samaharita mata wediye boho durak oba gihilla tiyenta puluwa but i believe that this is the path that we have to take is the path of humility in namut man vishwasa karana me attat kame maavate tama api gaman kale yutte it's the path of conforming our lives to christ apage maavata tama christus wahansege swarupeta parivartane wema and taking jesus as our pattern 
ජේසස් වහන්සේ අපගේ ඒ නිරූපණය කියලා අපි ඒක ඒක පසුපස යාම and maybe at some point we will be able to say honestly i think other people are more important than me එතකොට අපිට පුළුවන් අන්න අය අපිට වැඩිය වැදගත් කියලා සලකන්නට i wouldn't claim to be able to say that yet um mata ba ek kiyala ek atpat karagana thama but i want to move in that direction namuth e e maavate tula mata avidinda thavadurata thavashyai but it involves embracing the cross iting me kurusiyata apa kurusiya welanda ganma thama eke maavata you see it involves a death e marane um somebody once said that the two most powerful beings in the world want to kill you uh yame kiyala thiyena me harima balagathu pudgala bhavayan dennek oba marantu usah karana kiyala but you get to choose which one does it oba thora ganta ona kavare kiyata deda oba marenne kiyala the devil wants to kill you යක්ෂයා අවශ්‍ය ඔබ ඝාතනය කරන්නට Jesus wants to take you to the cross. Jesus වහන්සේට අවශ්‍යයි කුරුසිය වෙතට ඔබ ගෙන යන්නට. But we get to choose which one we allow. අපිට වර ගන්න ඕන කාගේ එකද මරණය අප ගන්න යන්නේ කියලා. Somebody gave the expression um I, I don't know who where the expression came from crossless christianity. ुरुसेटी මක්නා කුරුසිය පරිවර්තනය වන ස්ථානයයි සුරැකි ස්ථානයයි අපේ අප ආරක්ෂිතව තබන ස්ථානයයි and when we die to ourselves then we don't have half the problems that we have when we're not dead ඒ අපි ඒ අපේ මරණයට පත් වීම ඉතාමත් අවශ්‍යව තිබෙනවා කීතුනේ ක්ලෙස so i'm just going to leave it there if anybody has got anything that's been raised by this they want to say or um contribute um please please feel free yamik the tinana yamik yamik katha karan obere puluwan den thank you we hunger i can see that you're struggling and thank you so much for um struggling oh, thank you for trying to do this thank you richard Yes, well done, Bianca. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, if anyone had, I think you know this is such an important text. You know, um, especially because the true character of Christ comes through this. And and you know, and I I, I believe that it's a journey that all of us have to have to be embracing uh, in in such a way that Paul writes. ඒ මේ පෞලතුමා මේ ලියන කතන්දරය තුල ඇත්තටම කිතුනුවක් ලෙස ඉතාමත් වැදගත් අපි මේ ආකාරයට ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේගේ ස්වරූපයට පරිවර්තනය වීම. Because I, I think you know you know you, you know you go through those almost like you know where he, where he, you know what Jesus did you know those seven things and it's just amazing and you know I don't think none of us are fully into this. Mm-hmm. िजन विदिंगडम when we take up our cross apita sabavinma me deva rajya tula kriyatmaka wenta puluwan kurusiya apa karata gattama you know just even that one verse that says consider others 
or you know look after hold on let me quote it correctly um, you know look after the needs of others or uh, esteem others esteem others yeah yeah you know that that itself you know is huge tomato vadi ani kena kena utum kiyala salakane ge eka hari vishal deyak yeah so it says let each of each of you look not only to his interests but also to the interests of others tama tama ge ma karana swayanne nathu anna ge karana swayanta kiyala kiyena it doesn't say gossip it doesn't say you know <laughs> but it, what it's saying is you know imagine you know just imagine vyanga if you want to just um, you know yeah. unmute yes, you know that's you. okay please you know feel thank free you. to do that thank you um, thank you but it, you know what it's saying is it's is that you know imagine if we have that culture that we are looking after one another how different our world will be because you know if you really think of it what comes to your you know, what comes first i look after myself ape api dissala menne mama man gena bala ganna one kiyana eka ne it so it's a huge it's a little shift and and it can and 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 it comes when we come to that place of saying i die at the cross i humble myself i think that's a whole thing in its own Sorry, Scotty. Sorry, sorry. No, I, I was just thinking that you were just saying you were just thinking you were just reading what I was thinking that to look to others' interests. I mean, that's a whole topic in itself. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, just, just that verse, because I, I, I'm not too. I know you're explaining it, but I'm still not 100 what that really. Uh, because somewhere else it says. to look at the things that are lovely and all the things that are that are beautiful and yet at the same time you got to look at others interests so i can't i can't reconcile the two what what it means yeah 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 uh, exactly you know what, hand up. oh yes me hi yeah um at the weekend somebody said something that's really made an impact on me about um jesus the only time he ever described his heart was he said um take my yoke upon me um because my yoke is easy because my heart is humble my and, and my burden is light yeah my burden is light but then he described his heart and he said um my heart is meek and humble or something that's how he described his own heart and that really made an impact on me and this guy said it's the only time jesus ever described what was going on in his heart to tell us that he was meek and he was humble in heart Mm. and i thought wow so even today like uh, when i was working with some students and something happened and i thought to myself i went out of the room to do something and i thought jesus i need your heart i need your meek heart in my heart so how how i deal with these students when i go back in so um if, if we look at his example of what his heart is like his meek and humble heart then we can um take that on ourselves you know because right. it's very easy to follow somebody who has a meek and humble heart because you don't want to follow somebody who wants to dominate you or control you you tr- you trust jesus because he's got that heart so good so good sindu you wanted to i i i saw you uh yeah um i guess it's just echoing what everybody said you know in terms of like taking interest or putting others interest above yourselves i mean how much better would the world be if you know we were if everybody behaved that way but just going back to what richard said is the christians that are called to do that is is our way of making a difference in the world when we say you know what i'm willing to put your interest above mine is actually the example that you know as christians we should be doing not waiting for others to do for us but we should be the ones to initiate that but you know that's a um it's like you said part of um picking up our cross daily because often you know we wonder what does it mean to pick up my cross daily and this is definitely one of those things but what i was actually quite encouraged to read from paul was actually in verse 3 chapter uh, 3:12 in the philippians where it says not that i have already attained or am already perfected but he says i press on that i may lay hold of 
that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me, which is basically Paul saying, you know what, I haven't achieved this myself, like all these things he's put down there, but he's saying, this is what I'm working towards. Mm. This is what I'm dedicating my life to doing. Like I haven't perfected these things, but this is what I'm working towards. And I think that's our example as well. Like, yeah, we acknowledge readily, I'm not there yet. I'm not anywhere close, but I'm going to do my part by working towards that every single day. Like I'm, I'm going to try every day. And I yeah. think as Christians, that's all we can do. Like we probably will never be perfect, I think, in that sense. But our part is to do something about it every day. Yeah, yeah. Something I was thinking when you're talking, Sindhu, you know, the, the New Testament believers, you know, imagine how they brought all what they had, they sold, and they brought it and they had it in common, kind of, you know, a mm. common so that everyone's need would be met. You know, that, I think, you know, that's such a demonstration of mm. looking after each other. Yeah. But it's something where we can begin to say, Lord, you know, break that selfishness in me, break that self in me. And give me that heart of humility. Give me the heart of, you know, heart where I will, you know, uh, humble myself. But again, it, you can't do it alone. You can't to come because Christ was crucified. Mm. And that's the example we carry. Mm. And uh, as I was sharing, I believe this is the, the, the first step to revival, as it says in Chronicles 2, 7, 14. If my people humble themselves... You know, whatever else we do, if we don't humble ourselves, that's the first step we have to take. That's the first part of that passage. Um, and, I, I, you know, so I, I just, we want to see revival, but this is the first step we have to take. Yeah. You know, yeah. Just to humble ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So often we forget, you know, we kind of look at revival as the power stuff happening, the healings, the, the you know, the hope, you know, all that. But, the, you know, it there is the character building. There is the transformation that happens. And I think, you know, a lot of the times in the midst of revival, we forget that. And and I think, you know, that's some, that for us to kind of remember. But great teaching tonight, Richard. Thank you so much for bringing, uh, you know, bringing it in the way that you did. Um, and would you close us up in prayer, Richard? Yeah. Lord, I, I, I'm, I feel excited because, you know, I, I can see a journey that I can take, um, even at my age, <laughs> I still need to get going, Lord. But um, I, I can see a path ahead that I can take, steps that I can take. And I just thank you for that, Lord. And I just pray that we would all embark on that journey of transformation and allow you to work in our lives and to change us and transform us so that we can be the light of the world and, and, and the light that shines in the darkness, Lord. So I, I bless you for your example of Jesus. We thank you so much for Jesus, Father. We, we just, what, what, what an example we have. What a, what a, what a high priest we have. Um, we're so blessed. And help us to be imitators of Jesus. Help us to imitate him, to copy him. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, uh, Richard. That was really good. Thank you. Thank you, and we'll, Thank you Richard. Thank you, Richard. You know, we'll, we'll see each other on Sunday, but, you know, read this section again. I love the Holy Spirit to really put some seed into our spirit, into our hearts. Mean Kotas and Avata Kiwan, we should that my one city to then a BJ Tower Tower, a Pihadua Tuladana. We'll see you all on Sunday in Dunstable and in North Holt. God bless everyone. Thanks, Rianga. Thank you. Bye.